There's more to quality. Now we're talking user perceived quality. So say your CDN is doing great and your play is great and it's showing content to an end user. What's good quality and bad? The, a lot of the press immediately associate bitrate with quality. More bitrate gives me better quality. And, and even you look at player APIs, there's an API what's called, it doesn't say switch bit rates, it says switch quality level, which I, I find curious in 2021, still there. There, there are many examples where more bitrate is not better quality. I'll, I'll, I'll give you two. One is, I, there's a choice in the playlist manifest. You got 1080p 30 at 10 megs with the AVC codec, or you got 1080p 30 at eight megs with HEVC codec. Which one should you choose? The one with more bitrate? No, your HEVC is going to give you a better quality because the codec is that magical parameter that translates the bits crossing the wire into the visual quality that you receive. So another example, you're sitting on your couch watching your 60 inch television and you've got a choice of 4K at 16 megs or 1080p at eight megs. Which one you choose? Well, it's a trick question because they're both going to look the same to you but the one costs the provider twice as much as the other to send to the TV. So the player shouldn't choose the more expensive one if it knows the user can't perceive any quality benefit from that. Mm. So there's many dimensions to visual quality and I'll, I'll go through some of the other ones. Everyone knows bitrate, we just discussed that. Um, resolution, it can help. 4K is better than lower K as long as you're close enough and your television is, has enough res visual uh, DPI to consume it. Um, you might look at frame rate, 60 FPS is becoming popular, certainly for sports, it's a real differentiator. Now you can actually see the tennis ball moving instead of just imagining the yellow blur. Color volume gives you much clearer colors going from Rec 709 up, up to Rec 2020. Um, color depth, 8-bit, graduations everywhere, 12-bit, much smoother. Uh, dynamic range, we're getting used to having some notion of high dynamic range, be it static or dynamic metadata for that, but you know, standard range doesn't look so good anymore and rather dark. And then we throw on audio as well. Uh, next gen audio and object based audio certainly create a more immersive experience. So those are all multiple dimensions of perceived quality that are totally separate from bitrate and they have to be taken into account from a player. People are trying to work on, on no reference metrics to estimate from the player's perspective, what would the user see? You know, is it better that I show a smaller video with a different codec uh, if I turn my phone around, you know, change the aspect ratio? It has to go through a lot of complex calculations and they're not simple ones for the player to make. So the notion of perceived quality is a much more complex one than this linear relationship to bitrate.